The Dark Knight is truly fantastic. It's a masterpiece. Why do I think it's so great? Some people find it great because it has so many famous actors. But you know what I say to them? It's not all about the fucking actors. The plotline is what matters. Though I have to admit, there was one famous actor I couldn't help to notice, and that's Morgan Freeman. Now, who is Morgan Freeman, you ask? Well, he plays the main villain in this movie. Well, he also played a role in the bucket list. In that movie, he was an old corrupted man who wasn't really enjoying himself. If you didn't already know this, Wanted is one of my favorite R-rated crime movies released in 2008. But not my favorite. My favorite R-rated crime movie of 2008 is Bangkok Dangerous. I know that not many people are going to agree with me. But you know what? I don't really give a damn. I don't! Because I know I shouldn't let bad movie reviews ruin what I like. I'm not gonna do that. What is Bangkok Changers, you ask? Well, it's a movie about an anti hero that travels around the world. There isn't really much else I can say without spoiling the movie for everyone. This movie was simply fantastic. But there is one thing very sad about it. Heath Ledger is dead. I mean, really, he is dead. And I just find it sad. And I find it very unfair how Hollywood treated him. I mean, he was only 29 years old when he died. Well, something like that. I mean, come on, couldn't he at least have been 50 before he went to his afterlife? I guess not. And to any of you who think that Heath Ledger is old fucking news, you really need To not be so fucking dark hearted. I mean, seriously. He didn't deserve to fucking die. He only died because he was a drug addict. Well, maybe he was not a drug addict. But I know that he died by something like that. Unfortunately, that's exactly how Hollywood works. And that's the message the movie is trying to bring. My favorite quote of that movie is, You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And I believe that to be 100% true. When you start to hate everything around you, you start to lose your faith and become something very evil. That's why I'm always careful about what I do in life. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. I think this movie is the best movie released in 2008. If you like dark comic book movies, this movie is perfect for you.
However, if you wanna see some light comic book movie or a movie that doesn't have too much darkness, find something else. And that's my th honest thought of the movie The Dark Knight. Thank you for watching and have a great day everybody. Peace out.